This month, Mars One began the process of increased transparency and public engagement that I alluded to in March with the launch of Inside 360, a new series of articles on the Mars Exchange intended to provide a perspective on the internal workings of the organisation. The first of these articles is now online, written by Dr Norbert Kraft, Mars One's Chief Medical Officer. It details how the initial astronaut application pool was whittled down to the current 100 candidates, as well as the rationale behind the selection process. Inside 360 is going to be regularly updated with articles explaining the upcoming rounds of the selection process and how the final 24 will be selected for training, as well as articles exploring the technological basis and the engineering behind key mission systems, and also about the overall mission feasibility and how the $6 billion budget for the mission was formulated. Now, Mars One is really keen to expand upon this public engagement by sharing the developments and conceptual design studies of its suppliers so that the aerospace community as a whole can be actively engaged with providing feedback to improve upon the mission design. Over the past month, we've been continuing with coordinating meetups amongst the candidates. In particular, there have been a number of gatherings in the United States from coast to coast, from Washington DC all the way over to California. Now, in the UK, over the next month, there's going to be a number of meetups in London, as some of the American candidates are going to be travelling around Europe. But we've also been coordinating amongst ourselves in the UK a number of team building challenges, and I'll see if I can get some footage of that for you next month. Now on to a few media highlights from the past month. Over in Oceania, the Australia and New Zealand banking group ANZ recently began a new advertising campaign that features Australian candidate Diane McGrath, as well as Mars One CEO Baz Lansdorp. Here in the UK, a great article appeared in The Guardian a few days ago that contains an in-depth review of Mars One's mission, as well as interviews with three of my fellow UK-based candidates. If you've got a few minutes, then the ANZ videos and The Guardian article are well worth checking out, so I'll post links to them down below for you. So what have I been up to lately? Well, apart from preparing for my final university exams, I've been Skyping into schools all around the world to speak to children about human spaceflight, Mars exploration, and about the Mars One mission itself. This month, I've been focusing on schools in Canada, and in particular there was a wonderful news article written by one of the schools after one of my sessions with them. Because you know, for me, I can't think of anything more exciting than spending half an hour of my time speaking to a group of young people halfway across the planet about space exploration about, and about the endless possibilities of science. Now, I'm really keen to expand upon this, so if you know any teachers who might be interested in arranging a Skype call, then by all means encourage them to get in contact with me. But you know, I haven't just been Skyping into schools. In fact, just a couple of days ago, I was interviewed over Skype by Neil deGrasse Tyson and NASA astronaut Mike Massimino for an episode of the National Geographic Channel's Star Talk TV show. Now, keep an eye out for that later this year. It should be coming out in October, and I'm really looking forward to showing that to you. One final thing that I want to mention is an upcoming documentary series about Mars One that I think a lot of you will find absolutely fascinating. So some of you will remember that in February, a documentary called If I Die on Mars, produced by Stateless Media, came out in The Guardian and has since been seen by over 1.5 million people. Well now I'm pleased to confirm that an ambitious sequel to this has been commissioned by AOL and Engadget called Citizen Mars. With filming taking place across four continents, it's truly shaping up to be an exciting series. So now I'm pleased to share with you the trailer. Be sure to keep an eye out for Citizen Mars this summer, as well as a number of other exciting announcements from Mars One. This month's featured video is a TEDx talk I gave earlier this year, which has just gone online. Now, I'm going to be a little quiet over the next month whilst I complete my final exams, but one idea that I'm tossing around is hosting a Google Hangout when the SpaceX CRS7 livestream begins, so that I can get to know some of you as the next Dragon launch takes place. Let me know if you'd be interested in that and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest developments in the Mars One mission.